Hello and welcome once again to the Owatonna Today Show. So glad to have you along. My name is Betty Johnson. We thank you for tuning us in and we'd like to thank some of our wonderful supporters who uh, make this show entirely possible. They are our premier supporters, is the City of Owatonna, along with Express Employment Professionals, Mayo Clinic Health System Owatonna, Owatonna Public Utilities, Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steele County, and the United Way of Steele County. Our primary supporters include Amy Swain Hearing Centers, Little Theater of Owatonna, and the Owatonna Care Center. Our interlude supporters are Abraham Consulting Technologies, A Plus Sewenvac, Brenda Brednar Mortgage, Glenn Megger and Tim Thomas of the Brick Megger Funeral Home and the Medford Funeral Home, along with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Claire Bridge of Owatonna, Carlson Branson and Company, CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care Professionals, Clancher and Sons Landscaping and Concrete, Napa Auto Service, Owatonna Business Incubator, Pizza Ranch of Owatonna, Perfidium Financial, R&K Electric and Snap Fitness, along with the Steel County Historical Steel County Historical Society, the Third Hand Inc. Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. And we are always looking for more supporters of the show. And if you are a business and would like more information about becoming an underwriter of this program, please contact Leanne at 390-5751. We want to keep Owatonna Today on the air. You can mail your contributions to Owatonna Today at 1130 North Elm Avenue in Owatonna. We have with us as guests today, uh, representing the United Way of Steele County, we have Corey Mensink and Katie Smith, and we're going to be back with them in just a couple of minutes and learn all about what's coming up this year with the United Way. So please stay with us. I'm Dan Branstead of Carlson Branstead & Company, Certified Public Accountants. We support the Oatana Today Show. Oatana Public Utilities, real people, real reliable, real progress. Making life a little easier day after day. Taking pride in our community, listening to what you say. A voice you can talk to. We're growing with you, with you in mind in everything we do. Oh, a ton of public utilities. Hi, I'm Laura Ressler from the Steele County Historical Society, where we honor the past and look forward to the future. We're proud to be a part of the Oatana Today Show. We are back, and our guests right now from U.S. Bank, actually, Katie Smith and Corey Mensink. And the U.S. Bank, are, you're going to be the uh, corporate leaders of the kickoff, are you not? We are. We're the corporate campaign leaders for this year's campaign. We're very proud, and we were very humbled to be asked. Um, when Evelina came and asked us to do that, it was... Uh, it didn't take us too many seconds to say yes. First of all, because I know she wouldn't take no as an answer. <laughs> and uh, uh, secondly, just because it's the right thing to do, and we were honored to be part of that this year. So what, as corporate sponsors, what are your duties? Or corporate leaders, I should say. What is it you do? What, what is it you have to do? Well, now, the first thing we do, what we're charged with doing is, uh, number one, we underwrite all of the events. And so uh, mm. from the kickoff in the park uh, mm -hmm. this summer uh, through to our Medford uh, awards uh, dinner as well as one in Blooming Prairie. We've got a couple of things going on in Owatonna, uh, which include a leadership banquet as well as a business after hours. Uh, we okay. sponsor all of that. Uh, secondly, really our charge is to get out there and make sure that people are aware of just the great things that exactly. happen because of the support of United Way, uh, because of their support of the United Way. Uh, dollars are uh, stretching farther and farther yeah. all the time. Harder to come by, aren't they? They are. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, a lot of the things that happen uh, in this community happen because of the generous support of our community and, uh, and their support of the United Way and the agencies that deliver the programs. Now, those events that you say sponsored by, it's the U.S. Bank that sponsors those events, right? Yes. Now, you just had something 
happened just this past week. We can't. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, Katie, go ahead. Well, we had a kickoff. Uh, well, in fact, a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Well, that was would have been in August. We had a kickoff in Blooming Prairie. Okay. And uh, last Tuesday, we had a kickoff in the Medford community, mm -hmm. and uh, that was uh, very well attended. Had lots of pizza, lots of fun, yep. and uh, we actually honored um, uh, John Gross from from Medford, Medford mm -hmm. and uh, recognize his co his uh, accomplishments and uh, his contributions to the Medford community and uh, what a wonderful person he is and I know he's done a lot for Owatonna too he has too but very very happy mm -hmm. that uh, United Way could be a part of that and and uh, really um, kick it off well in that community so do you have events coming up that you're going to be sponsoring as well yes we do in fact uh, this coming Tuesday the the 25th we will have a leadership dinner out at the Owatonna Country Club, and that's to recognize uh, some of the, the larger uh, kind of contributors okay. or whatever. The, the, leader, the leadership givers yeah. uh, over the years. Each year we have uh, several folks. We're, we're very fortunate to live in a generous community, and there are mm -hmm. many, many of uh, folks out of our community that give at a leadership level, which is defined at $250 or more. So it's a way to encourage uh, and promote uh, their contributions. Uh, as well as then we, uh, you know, we, we talked about, she talked about honoring uh, Mr. Gross last week mm -hmm. in Medford. Uh, we give away what are called the United Awards, and that is a, an right. award that, you know, given to somebody in that community that embodies the uh, spirit of the community. I mean, really, the donations are one thing, but uh, the greatest part about living in our community, in our community throughout Steel County, is just that real spirit that comes mm -hmm. with people that volunteer their time and give. So many. Mm -hmm. So many. And so... Uh, Mr. Gross was our um, Medford uh, honoree this year. Uh, the Holmans of the Holman Agency in, in Blooming Prairie were our honorees in Blooming Prairie. So not only are those kickoffs, but there are chances for us to say thanks for, for living that philosophy all year round. Now you said uh, individual contributions. Does also corporate? Do you have recognition for corporations we have, as well? That okay. also those uh, corporations that give corporate gifts and okay. run corporate campaigns are also invited to this event. Uh, this year in Owatonna, we'll be honoring. Uh, a business that really embodies this uh, all year round, and that is uh, Tom Brick and Owatonna Shoe. Okay, yes. And yes. we also, uh, from a um, leadership perspective, will be honoring Dr. Carol Winter as well. Okay, so how do you go about choosing those particular honorees? It's difficult because we've got so many yeah. of those folks in the community, but really it's a, it's a, we get a committee of folks together, uh, recommend some folks to the executive committee, and then the board approves those. So every year it's kind of a process. Now this, the kickoff campaign lasts how long? How long are you going to be doing this through, was it December? When you have, actually we should, we should it go is in? Our, our internal campaign for the bank, however, we're, we're going to wrap that up Halloween. <laughs> and, uh, and of course we encourage, as we go out to visit uh, other companies, uh, we also encourage them to do really fun internal campaigns. And uh, that's kind of part of our job of, of uh, promoting the United Way. But uh, the big thing to remember is, you know that last year we, we helped over 11,000 people in the United Way. And, it's um, amazing that that many need help, too. Oh, that's, it is. And we, you never know mm -hmm. when, you know, you or I might need one of those agencies. So being able to, to support them now, why we mm -hmm. can give, is re really, really important. But, um, yeah, uh, we've been uh, a United Way sponsor for a long time, and we've processed the United Way envelopes, uh, our bank, for several years. I can't even remember when we haven't done it. So it was, a, it was an easy glide into the, mm -hmm. the, the corporate sponsorship and leadership. It's just a natural year. selection for you then, too, by Evelina. So when you mention internal campaigns, what are some of the things that the companies do for their own drives. You know, some, some of them do some real clever, inventive, fun things. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to, <coughs> excuse me, stay on top of that because everybody gets so creative <laughs> each year, you know, but, which is great. You have, you know, the whole point is we have to have a little fun with this too. So yeah. um, uh, what we really uh, want to make sure people are aware of is that uh, the United Way has programs that support our smallest citizens all the way up to the most mm -hmm. senior of our citizens. Right. And any one of us at any time can find ourselves on the other end of receiving something. And, and so um, it's important that we continue to support these programs more now more than ever because funds are tight. And mm -hmm. uh, we need to rally to make sure we can continue to offer these services in our community. Now, what do you individually do as part of it? Do uh, you have your own... Um, you probably were asked by Evelina and you chose Katie. What is it that you... Ex that you do and that you, Katie is going to be doing. Well, actually, you know what? It's, it's I'm in charge of the fun. 
<laughs> <laughs> and you could do that very easily. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, there's, when we made the commitment, luckily, we, well, I should say, we've got a great team of folks at U.S. Yeah, Bank, so we made the commitment on behalf of, of U.S. Bank. Um, our corporation really embodies this on a national level. Uh, last year, we were given the Spirit of America Award. United really? Way, yeah, United Way gives one of those a year. That's great. What an honor. And so that's national. That's national. a national award. So really, we're encouraged to be involved in, mm -hmm. and engaged in the communities in which we live. United Way is a natural. Uh, we made the commitment on behalf of our team, and really our team at U.S. Bank and Otana is who's really doing the heavy lifting. They're the ones that are uh, putting together these events, mm -hmm. being involved in these events. Uh, coming out in numbers and to support uh, you know uh, all of these events as well so really it's it's a team effort right. uh, we've got a small team but they're real effective but and you can't still with a small team do it all by yourself there are other you know you need the help of other corporations in the community as well oh absolutely and that includes the United Way board members other community folks mm -hmm. um, it's it's really our pleasure to be part of it it isn't uh, hasn't been that much work and it's really easy to get behind this organization just because of all the great things that they help support and what is the goal for this year seven hundred and fifty thousand okay. so and I'm sure you know with everybody on board we'll be able to reach that goal easily you're going to have the thermometer in Central Park yep. so yep. we can keep an eye on we will yep. what it is so now you said you're already off to a good start so far we are off to a really good start um, very encouraging start uh, so we can't we, we couldn't be happier we had our official kickoff in July like Katie had said in the park in Owatonna and it's just building from there and so uh, the com this community we are very fortunate people do support uh, the efforts of the United Way and the agencies that we support so um, it's just a matter of us kind of taking this torch and bringing it forward and look for us on Facebook on Facebook yeah. wonderful yes you've got to be a part of that too I mean everybody is yeah now too so now if someone um, say they're retired and, and they aren't part of a company they do want to make a contribution how did they go about doing that I guess I would encourage them to go just to contact our United Way office we yep. are right downtown okay. now uh, right next to Cedar Gallery uh, very visible uh, so please contact Evelina and her staff uh, downtown okay. and find out how you can get involved could they go into a bank and do it as well or is we probably prefer at right at United Way yeah. would be the most yeah. preferable yeah. 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 I was thinking you know I do my banking at mm -hmm. US Bank and I thought oh, this is easy to do it that way but yes you've Still want to, Evelina, I'm sure would like to meet everybody coming in too who wants to support that too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So thank you for coming out today. Keep us informed. We will. Thank we'll you very much. With that. Our guests have been Katie Smith and Corey Mensing from U.S. Bank, and they are the corporate campaign leaders for the United Way. When we come back, we're going to be checking in with Betsy Lindgren. So don't go away. Hi, this is Barry Gillespie, president of ERA Gillespie Real Estate, where our pledge is to save you money, save you time, and simplify your life. And we're proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, Ann Pluskanko here from Senior Place. Senior Place has new hours. Mondays and Fridays, we're open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Participate in Zumba Gold, Bike Club, table tennis, computer classes, speakers, and much more. Don't forget the Senior Place Partnership Program with 39 businesses giving discounts and incentives with your Senior Place membership card. Membership is only $35 for the year, which comes to just $3 a month to be a member. Consider joining us today. Mayo Clinic Health System in Owatonna invites you to the 10th Annual Women's Health Day Celebrate the Woman Within, Saturday, October 13th from 7.45 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Holiday Inn and Suites. Listen to Dr. Matthew Camp, plastic surgeon on The Total You. Learn from Ashley Noble about healthy diets throughout a woman's life. Wrap up with Renee Rongan, motivational speaker, and learn about the fundamentals of a female. Tickets are $5 each and will be on sale starting September 10th at the clinic on 26th Street. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amy Swain of Amy Swain Hearing Centers. I know that buying a hearing aid can be confusing and difficult. My job is to make that easier for you. With 18 years of experience with many different brands of hearing instruments, I can help you make the best choice. Remember, when purchasing a hearing aid, you are entitled to a trial period, and during that trial period, if you are not satisfied, then you can try a different brand or style. At Amy Swain Hearing Centers of Owatonna, Austin, and Waseca, we believe you deserve to hear better.
Do you know how to safely dispose of your expired or unused prescription and non-prescription medications? Not by flushing them down the toilet or putting them in the garbage. Doing so pollutes our rivers, streams, and drinking water supply. Take it to the box instead for safe, secure disposal. It's easy. Bring your unused medications in their original containers to the drop-off locations listed on the screen and drop them in the Take It to the Box drop box. Proper disposal of unwanted medications keeps them out of the hands of children and out of our environment. This is a message from the Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steele County. We are back and our guest now is Betsy Lindgren of Express Employment Professionals. Hello, Betsy. Good morning, Betty. So glad to have you along. There's always something um, happening at Express, isn't it? You're always so busy. It so is. Many That's things. a good thing. That's yes, a good it thing. is. It's a very good thing. So why don't you tell us about what you've got coming up at Express? Well, uh, we've got another learning opportunity in our series this year. We ha we've had, we will have four, mm -hmm. s four uh, series all based around workplace and the workforce and leadership. Uh, on the last one, which was on March 28th, we had the creative conversation, how to resolve conflict between uh, individuals and groups. And in following that conflict uh, in the workplace and communication, which are two uh, huge issues that are there, on uh, this Wednesday we have, um, coming up, we have the conflict and the management of power, how to overcome power struggles that occur oh. in the workplace. Okay. So um, we're looking forward to a good turnout once again. And what we are seeing is people that are coming, supervisors, managers, mm -hmm. even owners that are coming uh, to each one of these series because they're so engaging. Diane Hammondson is our, our um, presenter and she's extremely knowledgeable and again engaging and getting people involved and mm -hmm. so that there's some real hands-on. It's not just lecture. Uh, is completely hands-on. In fact, this time we'll, we'll be all sitting around in, in a circle of chairs uh, to, to uh, get some of the, the uh, tips and, and uh, the actions and the ways to resolve that, those power struggles, etc. So I'm Do excited Do you ever about repeat any of these if you get like a, a, a high demand? Because some of the, this is so basic. I mean, internal power struggles, that's goes on all the time. All the time, all the time. You know, it's funny that you ask. There, because of it, there is so much information out there, mm -hmm. and it's a great suggestion, Betty, to be able to, you know, have the same series next year. However, because, again, Diane is so, um, she has a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of resources, uh, so next year what we'll do is probably still keep with the same theme of, you know, communications, power struggles, mm -hmm. conflict, because most people, it really is the, uh, the exception, not the rule. Most people do not like to deal with conflict right, yes, <laughs> in the workplace, definitely. Uh, nor the po power struggles that can mm -hmm. go on. And so uh, in order to have you know, a more cohesive work environment, and certainly in today's world when you're doing and requested all the time to do more with less, we need to be able to, be able to communicate. All of us need mm -hmm. to be able to, to learn how to communicate better and communicate uh, as a whole in, in the workplace in order f to reach the efficiencies and the production goals and, and uh, you know, the goals of each year that we set forth. Especially in the future coming because today's generation is so into electronics and, you know, texting and Facebook and tweet and that there's not that face-to-face -face mm -hmm. communication and interaction. I'm just wondering where all that's going to lead. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, again, this series we've got is the conflict and the management of power, how to overcome power struggles in the workplace. Mm -hmm. But next, or not next Wednesday, Wednesday, November 7th, we are actually going to have, and that'll be the last series four for this year, generational diversity in conflict. Mm. And that will come in, in this one, you'll learn the facts and the events that shape each one of the generations. Because for the first time, we've got four generations that are working. That's, that is unheard of. Uh, in the past work environments that we've had mm -hmm. uh, historically. Also, you're going to discover 10 tips uh, to be able to improve the communication with each generation so that mm -hmm. you're, again, reaching those, uh, bringing a more cohesive workplace, uh, teams together, etc. Also, she is going to, as I said, be, uh, with her uh, ability to engage people, is to develop a diversity plan. Uh, so that you'll be able to immediately take back with you uh, to work to implement so that you're sure that all the communication is happening the way it should and it's encouraged uh, within uh, the workplace. Plus, so I'm sure you, you emphasize the workplace, but I'm sure there's a lot of principles that you can apply at home. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I think any opportunity you, mm -hmm. you know, when they talk about uh, well, leaders are made, they're not born, born. when they say it's a born leader. 
uh, communication's the same thing. It, it, communication's an art, and it's yeah. not something that we're all born with that we automatically are just given that we learn. It's, it's really an art, and it's something that uh, people should pay attention to all the time. And you're absolutely right. Uh, home is probably one of the best places uh, to use that information. <laughs> if you can develop it in one place, then it, you can do it in both. Oh, certainly, yeah, yeah. certainly. I don't know if anyone, if they're very good communicators at work, then they're probably going to be the same thing at home, too. Yeah, that it would goes be, hand in hand. Definitely. So now you mentioned that this is the last group of the series this year. Yes. So how many do you have each year? Four. 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 Okay. Right. And again, this will be our third one on September uh, 19th, but it will be our fourth one on November 7th. Again, they're 1130 to 1. They're held at the Steele County Historical Center, which is just a beautiful place if anybody has mm -hmm. had the opportunity to see it. And it's a wonderful meeting place. So is there still time to register for these? Absolutely. If you just give our office a call at 455-3002, or you can go online to uh, Tracy, or I'm sorry, www. Let's try it again. <laughs> What's the difference between an email and a web? <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Okay, I, do that. I know. <laughs> if she emailed Tracy St. John at expresspros.com, okay. uh, then you'll be able to register too. Well, the easiest is probably just to pick up the phone. Is there a deadline <laughs> before each one? To there usually the deadline was on Friday, mm -hmm. but we still have some people I know, uh, as Leanne is well aware, and my reputation precedes me, that I'm usually late for things. And, and so. <laughs> Uh, again, we're always open to last minute. Okay. All right. Now, um, when, you're, when you're doing these, who comes up with the topics? How do you decide? I sit down with Diane uh, and our team at the beginning of the, well, actually the end of this year, we'll mm -hmm. be discussing what we're going to have for next year, and decide what are those issues that we've run across, you know, in the workplace that, um, mm -hmm. you know, in this past year with whether it be associates, whether, it, when I say associates, employees, uh, what are those struggles that people are having? Um, and then from there, make a decision on, okay, what, what area do we want to address? And then how can we break it down into, you know, four series? Okay. So one's following the other. Is there a cost? Yes, it's $15 per person. 15 15 oh, yes, That's very Pretty reasonable. inexpensive. Yes, yes, very much so. And that includes now that they go through, is it in the morning, afternoon, they go through a lunch hour? Or how is that it's work? through, it's 1130 to 1. And okay. so we'll have lunch. Lunch is served. Okay. Uh, and people uh, get there, they end up having lunch, and then we continue on with the, with the series. So we've got a good hour uh, mm -hmm. of information. The, also, the wonderful thing about it is that, again, when you walk away from these, Diane has made it so um, easy to learn and resource available. So she has, uh, we'll, we will have handouts and those kinds of things. Okay. So it's not just a matter of, again, you're listening, you're not being able to engage. It, it is, uh, it will come with all of that. So you're actually practicing, you know, communications and tips right in our uh, training session. Have you had people come to you and say, um, this is something I'd like to see and no one's done it. Could you, you know, give us a little seminar on this or this? Do you get input yes, from absolutely, the public? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, again, with Diane, because of these seminars and uh, with, again, we want to be as express as a whole to our clientele and the community as a whole uh, regarding information about the workplace and the workforce because uh, we're all, we can only all get better because of that. Well, like you said, four generations, so you're not too old. To learn, never especially too the old communications, to learn. never too old to learn. No, definitely. <laughs> Did you notice we say that a lot more the older we get? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had to bring that up. Did you? <laughs> you know, someone's not that old when they never bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> never too old to learn, but to make right. it work is something <laughs> different. <laughs> exactly. Remembering it. Remembering it. That's Remembering an issue. it. Yes. So. Okay, Betsy, uh, with a little bit of time we have left, if there's something that we haven't touched on you want to cover, make sure that uh, we. Um, Get it out to the general public here at you want them to know? Again, just in review, Wednesday, September 19th, coming up, we have our conflict and management of power, uh, how to overcome the power struggles that occur in the workplace today. Uh, and then on Wednesday, if you mark that down on your calendar, Wednesday, uh, November 7th, we've got generational diversity and conflict. Those two words are really difficult to say fast. Generational Tips and conflict. tools which will help bridge the um, uh, generational gap that can occur with so many generations working in the workforce today. And information for information, they can contact? Contact Express Employment Professionals at 455-3002. Um, that's probably the easiest, or 800-832-3002. Okay. Thank you, or Betsy. Or stop in and see us. Yes, thank you for stopping by today. Always informative and helpful, as always. I appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. We do have one last break we want to take to hear from some of our great supporters, and then we'll come back with some announcements. 
Hi, I'm Molly Tichenel, manager and personal trainer at Snap Fitness, your 24-hour fitness solution. Snap Fitness is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. The Oatana Care Center is excited to announce our new partnership with Dr. Middle and Dr. Wilcox of Long-Term Care Professionals. This partnership ensures that residents can be seen right here at the Oatana Care Center when needed. With the special on-site care, long-term care professionals will be delivering to our facility. Our goal is to decrease hospital visits and ensure special one-on-one -on -one care for each resident. Long-term care professionals and the Oatana Care Center are dedicated to improving the clinical management for our residents, ensuring that they receive the highest quality of care. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House in Clarebridge, and we're a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. In 2011, United Way funded programs provided services to over 10,000 Oatana residents. For the second consecutive year, the vast majority needed help to meet their most basic needs, food, clothing, housing, and safety. United Way of Steel County is able to sustain a safety net of direct services, prepare our children for the future, and provide seniors with support to age in place due to the generosity of our community. Please make a donation to United Way again this year. Our neighbors are counting on us, and we are counting on you. Now that's on the floor. We are back, and we do have some announcements we'd like to pass along. The first is coming up tonight at the Owatonna Arts Center at 7 p.m. is the Americana Concert with Sally Barris, Ben Kyle of Romantica, and Brandon Sampson. Cabaret seating will create an intimate setting for an evening of music. Tonight again at 7 p.m., tickets are $25, and they are available at the Arts Center and at Cockies. The Steele County Historical Society is pleased to present a lecture by Reverend Steve Seidler on the history of churches on the rails. Coming up Thursday, September 27th at 7 p.m. at the History Center, the Wenger Room, Reverend Seidler has been a model railroader and rail fan for over 60 years and is a member of the Railroad Evangelistic Association which publicizes All Aboard magazine. The lecture is free to Historical Society members and two dollars per person for non-members. Again that is coming up at 7 p.m. on Thursday, September 27th. And the 31st annual Riverbend Ramble is coming up Saturday, September 29th at the new Faribault National Guard Armory beginning at 5.30 with social hour at 6.30, catered by Faribault's own Marlene Gustafson. So that is what we have for announcements for today. Don't we forget culture. Don't forget Culture Fest. That's right. That's coming up this Saturday. weekend, too. Saturday at Wilson School. Lots of fun events and food and entertainment for the entire family. So you want to check in with Culture Fest. So thank you for being uh, a viewer with us today. We do appreciate your patronage. And if you get a chance, also, if you we see the sponsors at the uh, bottom of the screen, stop in and patronize them and say thank you for helping support the OTA Today Show. We will see you next time. I'm Betty Johnson.